we had a flat enrollment. We were losing kids to charter schools. Parents were opting out, moving to private schools. A lot of our school districts are still stuck in the test score mentality. Our goal here in the Cajon Valley School District is to prepare kids to thrive in the local and national economy. When those are your goals, your benchmarks are much different. Code of the Future has been the solution that built a comprehensive curriculum and training system for teachers to engage with so that we can provide all of our students with computer science at a very high level. Code of the Future's solution is the result of engineers working together with educators to create something that will prepare students for the high growth, high demand jobs of the future, but simultaneously making the rest of their critical content standards much more engaging. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics reports that by the year 2020, there'll be a million person job gap in the area of computer science. When our businesses are telling us that, we recognize we have to start as early as kindergarten. What you see here when it comes to student engagement and student interest is just absolutely amazing. When it's fun and they're interactive and engaged, they get it. My favorite subject, of course, is computer science. It makes it more active because you're also having fun while you're doing it. The difference with this solution is that it's not an add-on, whether it's integrated into science, whether it's integrated into math, whether it's integrated into ELA. Seeing that my son made a robot and he's only nine years old is mind-blowing. It gives him an advantage that other kids don't have in other schools. A Gallup poll came out this year over 90% of the parents surveyed indicated that they wanted more computer science education opportunities for their children. Only 6% of superintendents perceived that there was demand from parents for more computer science opportunities for children. This is something that will set your district apart. Every district and their brother are looking for ways to increase enrollment. Code of the Future has had a significant and immediate impact. We have had people come and check us out. Our kindergarten has doubled. We're seeing kids come across district lines and come back from charter schools because they want access to these programs. When I first heard that we were gonna be a computer science school, it scared me to death. And I have found out that it's totally not that at all. In fact, I am learning right along with the kids. As the computer age has ascended upon us, I have had a lot of fears because of the support that I've had. I've never felt as though I couldn't do it. What makes us so unique is our expertise in starting computer science immersion schools. This has given us the portfolio of experiences that we've then packaged together into a solution that any district can adopt. When you're trying to solve a problem that hasn't yet been addressed, you need to co-create. David Miyashiro, he's the San Diego County Superintendent of the Year. The League of Innovative Schools has selected him as one of the 73 most innovative school superintendents in the country. The work that we've done with Code of the Future has been one of the reasons why we've been invited into the League of Innovative Schools. In this particular arena, we have to be nimble and we have to be always anticipating the next move innovation or change. That's what Code of the Future and Andrew bring to the table. The journey that we're on with Code to the Future has been an extremely powerful change agent for our school. If these first and second graders are starting now, I can't even imagine where they'll be even in fifth grade. I can't think of an area that it's not beneficial. It's been really exciting. The partnership is just amazing. It's just really cool to see.